In this video, I'll show you how to set up Mailing Boss Builder of 5.0. Hi, and welcome to this channel. If this is your first time on the channel, you are welcome. All right, so step one, you need to connect a custom domain to the Builder All system, all right? I have a tutorial on it, okay? So I'll show you. So in this tutorial, I show you how to create a simple page in order to connect your custom domain on it. So you need to watch this. All right, so once you have your domain connected, on this dashboard, what you need to do is to locate the apps. And this is the mailing boss 5.0, but we're not gonna work on it yet. Click on custom email. So this is the domain that I connected in my previous video. So like I said, you need to watch it. All right, so now we need to create a business email address. So click on it. In your case, it might be just uh, one domain here. So once the arrow is pointing to the domain name, click on create email. So now I'm gonna create the email. All right, let me just push this up a bit. And you have to make sure at least you have a 70%, all right? So I will do that quick. All right, so password. All right, so I need to confirm. All right, so everything is good. So in my case, I was able to go past 70, which is really good. That's why I have a uh, 100%. Once that is done, click on create. So add it successfully. All right, so next, I have to go to mailing boss and activate the SSL certificate of this domain name, all right? And this is the SSL certificate, you know, the padlock down here. I will show you something quick. So every domain should have this, the HTTPS. So if it's not secure, you're not gonna have this padlock, okay? All right, so we're gonna go and activate this domain. All right, so we are done with this section right now, but we'll come back to it later on. So for you not to be confused, I'm gonna close it when we need it, then I'll come back to it. Okay. I'll close it and I'll go to app again. And this time I'm gonna go to mailing boss 5.0, okay? All right, so if this is your first time, you're not gonna have this check sign and this check sign as well. In my case, it's because I've set up already in the old system, which is the builder of 4.0. That's why I have this check signs because I have some campaigns in there already. All right, so click on domain. Okay, so as you can tell, we don't have that domain name here. We need to create a domain. I mean, technically you need to add a domain, but here they say create a domain. Okay, so create a domain. All right, so you don't have to add HTTPS or www. You don't need to do that. So click on save. All right, so make sure you spell it right. Do you want to add senders for the above domain? Then I'll say yes, add. So now we need to add sender name. So the sender name will be the same, like the domain name, but this time around you write it properly. So it's gonna be build or business then the email address all right all right so when it's done click on save we sent a validation link to the to the sender's email please click on the link to validate your sender we'll go back then we go to custom email locate this okay because this is what we are working on view email list all right so locate it and click on it again so most of the time this thing is down so you need to scroll down to get this click on access webmail enter the email and password all right so sign in okay so it's working so we have to check the mail all right, so please click here in order to confirm your sender validation. So click on it. Congratulations, your sender validation is now complete. All right, so we're gonna go back here and see. Sender email. Okay, so now we have a verified and sender email. 
all right so to get on this page you need to reload the page by clicking on this or you can right click and click on reload okay and the reason why you have to do that click on enable ssl so it's processing and normally it takes i'll come back to refresh the page so when i refresh this should be green so i'll wait and i'll come back all right so let's try and refresh the page all right so you can go up here to click up normally this thing should take like half an hour so why maybe because it's still in the beta phase first i'm gonna go to account i'll fill in the company name uh the category let's see category will be in my case should be marketing or business uh marketing and advertising and here what i'll put in the domain name you have to put in the zip code the country phone number don't add phone number fax don't bat number don't then so just concentrate on this and put in your address here don't use your house address well it's up to you if you want to use house address that's okay. but i would advise you to get like a mailbox number which is what i'm gonna use for this and your website if you are branding yourself and stuff like that like your own business that's fine but if you are doing affiliate marketing please don't put your website name here just leave it empty okay all right so i'll fill this and i'll update then i'll go into the old mailing box then come here now go to domains it says enable ssl and i'll come back half an hour later and i'll refresh it i know this one will work for sure all right so half an hour has passed i'll try and refresh it boom so it's active here after half an hour all right so i'll go back here too and refresh So it's still not active here but i know once it's active here i can even use the regular mailing board system i will check uh, the sender emails to see let's see sender emails sender emails all right so sender email is active in the beta of 5.0 I'm gonna go to the regular mailing boss to activate the sender here too. So in case I want to use it right away without waiting for the 48 hours app. To do that, I'm gonna create new or add the new domain name. So the name, the sender name will be and the email name save changes all right so it's saying your form has been successfully saved we sent a validation link to the sender's email please click on the link to validate your sender so what i would do as you can tell it's not verified in the regular mailing box system or you can call it the 4.0 system so what i will do now i'll go to my mail and i will activate it go back here go to the apps all right so click custom email so click on it view email list click on it as is So click on it. Please click here in order to confirm your sender validation. So click on it. Hello, congratulations. Your sender validation is now complete. Okay, so let's go back and refresh. Now it's active. Now it's verified. That's why it says yes. So I can send uh, email marketing campaigns with this email address. All right, so but I know eventually it's gonna be active. So right now the SSL is our main concern. So I'm not gonna use it to send uh, email marketing campaigns inside the 5.0. So this is the end of the tutorial. Thanks for your time. Please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel because I'll be bringing more beautiful videos. Okay, take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.